What's up, everybody? It is a day earlier for me recording than I expected, but not a day earlier for posting on YouTube. It is the last day of the tour, and I'm here with token shop pipe poles with some statistics and an experiment. And when we go into the statistics, the first thing you will notice is there's a change in one of the stats. That's right. We no longer have 0% token shop pipes cleared when um, causing opponents to crash. And that's for a couple of reasons. One is that I am on summer break, so I had time to do this experiment and try and clear this pipe. And the second is that I did an experiment. Angela from Tour de Carte suggested that she thought it was easier to collect tokens by making opponents crash because you can run auto mode and collect a lot of tokens that way. So I'm gonna show you the results of an experiment I did collecting tokens in auto mode using a couple different drivers. So you can see um, this is the first time out of four that I am gonna fully clear the token shot pipe when causing opponents to crash. Um, if we look in the average number of token shot pipes fired, that brings my average up from it was like 22 something up to 24 and 3 fourths. Um, still slightly less than half of the um, pipes that I fired will be in these, even though half of the tours have been making opponents crash, because I usually don't. But let's take a look at the results of this experiment and see how to collect tokens in auto mode. How did it work out for me using a Lucky 7 driver and using a Giant Banana driver? You can see the drivers down below here. So in the Lucky 7 setup, I used Peach Happy the Sakura Quick Shaw, and the uh, Crimson Crane, which is a red shell glider. That's because those are what Angela told me that she used. She actually used the Rambi Runner as a cart, but I don't have that cart. So I used the Sakura Quick Shaw, which is kind of a large cart that was on top shelf for that course. Uh, the Crimson Crane is a red shell glider. That's the reason that we're using that glider. If we're behind, hopefully we'll get red shells or we'll get lucky sevens. And you can see the full data set here of uh, running auto mode several times over the course of the tour. You can see that the lowest amount of tokens that Peach Happy collected in auto mode was two, which happened a couple times. The highest was 38, and everything's an even number because you get two tokens every time you cause an opponent to crash. So you can see the box and whisker plot down at the bottom kind of shows that the middle 50% of the time, or you know, half the time you'll get between 12 and 22 tokens. And this was on this course, uh, Wario Shipyard T by running auto mode with Peach Happy as a Lucky 7 top shelf driver. The average was 16.9 tokens per race, and the standard deviation was 7.4. The median, you can see, was 16 tokens per race. So, so, you know, somewhere around 16 or 17 tokens per race is what you can expect in the long run. Now I'm going to go to uh, Pink Ninja using Giant Banana on Wario Shipyard R, and you can see that all the data shifts slightly lower, slightly to the left on the graph. So the low value is still two. The high is now 34. I got that a couple times. Um, and 50% of the time, it was somewhere between 10 and 18 tokens collected with a median of 14, an average of 14.9 tokens per race. There's slightly fewer tokens and slightly less variability because the standard deviation is now only 6.7 tokens per race. So to summarize, I ran auto mode many times to try and get a handle on how many tokens you can expect to get during the race. With Lucky 7, I was able to get about 17 tokens per race on average with giant banana 15 and the courses were wario shipyard t for lucky seven and wario shipyard r for giant banana because they were top shelf drivers with those items on those two courses and since they're both wario shipyard variants i figured they'd be about the same length and they'd be a good comparison so it's slightly faster in this trial that I did to use Lucky 7 then Giant Banana for collecting tokens in auto mode. So Angela was right. Thank you for the advice. That's what you suggested that I do. And I found that you can tend to collect between about 10 and 20 tokens per race doing it this way. Doing it this way. Um, is it something that I would do? Probably not in a regular tour. I kind of used the fact that I wanted to do this experiment to compare the two items. Um, and kind of see how many tokens you could get as an excuse for doing it. I kind of think it just drains your phone battery and there's other things I'd want to do with my time than sitting there resetting the auto mode the whole day. But if it does help you to collect the tokens, then, you know, go for it. More power to you. 
I may do an experiment next time we collect from courses, maybe a briefer than this one, just to see how many tokens you can expect to get with a coin box character if you run that in auto mode, to see if it's really easier with um, collecting items from making opponents crash than, uh, than using um, coin box characters in auto mode from courses. But I still think that it is a lot easier to collect tokens from courses in the normal course of gameplay even though I see it's possible to collect them and clear the whole token shop pipe by making opponents crash. But uh, now that I've done this experiment, we can reap the rewards, which are I am going to actually pull all 31 token shop pipes for the first time since we've been making opponents crash. So let's get into it. What do you say? Here we go. Go into the token shop and according to my calculations, it will take 9,500 tokens to fully pull all 31 pipes plus the three gold pipes, which we will do. So just let me go in and for the fans, <laughs> we get some uh, 300 tokens of skill tickets just to get myself down to the right number of tokens um, for aesthetic purposes, if nothing else. Oh, do you like my tie-dye shirt, by the way? This is from a band called Cimarelli. You can listen to on YouTube or uh, Spotify or wherever music is sold. Uh, just got their tie-dye shirt in because I realized I didn't have a lot of tie-dye shirts and I thought it'd be nice to get a tie-dye shirt for aesthetic purposes. <laughs> All right, 9,500 tokens. That's what we want because that's going to get us through 34 pipes, 31 of the regular pipes, and three of the fancy pipes. Wish me luck, you guys. This is what I can hope for as my expected, but we're going to reset that so that we can keep track of what the expected value is every time we pull during the 31 pipes. We're starting off with a thousand coins. All right, that's good. Coins are useful nowadays, particularly with all the extra um, tickets that they give you that you can buy in the tier shop nowadays. I actually haven't bought a lot of them in the tier shop because I figured they'll be there if I need them. That's why I've been able to maintain my coin value up in the tens of, you know, 70 to 80,000 coins. Okay, cart points cap ticket. That's a normal cap ticket. That is probably one of the least valuable things, but I suppose it might be more valuable than those uh, point boost tickets. Number three. And it is a green pipe. I got a gold pipe in one of the daily challenges earlier on in the tour. That was kind of cool. I actually got a new cart in the daily challenge pipe. I got the black dozer. I never had it. So, okay, story about the Dozer Dasher and the Dozers in general. The Dozer Dasher was in the tier shop, I don't know, a year ago or so. Uh, you know, maybe a little more than a year ago. Uh, item tickets. I did not buy the Dozer Dasher because I checked my coverage. It did not give me any new coverage. It was an old cart. Didn't figure it would um, be that useful for me in the future. In the Bowser vs. DK tour, they added Airship Fortress RT, and lo and behold, I had no top shelf cart, and there was a Dozer Dasher. I'm like, ah, oh, I wish I had bought Now, this was back before I had 70,000 coins. This was when I was still buying supers and new items in the shop. I, I didn't have that many coins here. Normal cap. Those are just all grouped together. <sighs> so I didn't want to go and spend the coins on it because I didn't just have all these extra coins to spend. And then I, I wished I had bought it as a new item, even though it didn't give me any coverage, because I found that it got buffed on this Airship Fortress RT, where I needed a cart. Well, now I have a better cart that I can use on Airship Fortress RT than that one. But I did get it out of a, uh, I think out of the standard high-end pool or some kind of pipe that I pulled. It showed up in the Trick Tour when um, Builder Toadette was introduced to the game. And obviously... I pulled that pipe. I, I drained that pipe for Builder Toadette. She and the Pink Dozer, okay, so this is continuing the story about dozers. Builder Toadette and the Pink Dozer were literally the last two items in that pipe, number two and number one out of 100. Here, I'm, it's good to tell stories because you get gold pipes that way, right? So uh, the regular Dozer Dasher was in the week two pipe of that trick tour. All right, points cap ticket. Let's see, high end cap ticket. Nice, all right, good. That will be useful because the cart ones I go through a lot. So I need more cart cap tickets. There's a lot of carts in this game. There's a lot of carts that I still want to single or double cap. <sighs> so I did not pull the week two pipe in the trick tour. So I didn't get the dozer dasher that way. I'm sure that it was a random pull from the standard high end pool at some point later in the year. And I was glad to have it. 
I, st I think I still need the carrot cart. I wish I could get the carrot cart and maybe someday it'll get buffed on some random course that I don't have coverage for. But um, I always will try to get new um, carts now, even if it doesn't look like it's gonna give me any coverage. Um, because, you know, if, it, if it's free, if it's for coins or something that doesn't take a lot of rubies, such as the gold zucchini, which I probably will end up um, pulling, doing singles for at the end of this video. Um, I try and acquire it just so that when it gets buffed on something that I have no top shelf for in the future, I can be thankful as, ah, I have this. I spent my coins wisely to give myself coverage. So anyway, the dozer stories, just because I got the black dozer and I think that those are the, oh, oh, there's the ice dozer I got out of that, um, icy, I think it's out of the pipe that I got the frost wing in, where the frost wing was a spotlight here, super cap ticket. Oh, that's cool. The driver super cap tickets I do still need, because I have some of those drivers I want to triple cap. Um, so, I think there's four dozers, and I think now that I got the black dozer out of daily challenge, I think I got all four dozers. I think ice dozer's like at level three or so, just because I pulled it three times out of that while I was in the process of getting the frost wing. Yes, you guys, okay, this, see, and people say how many gold pipes do they get? It's a little bit spurious just talking about how many gold pipes you get, because those 10,000 coins are, I think, the 45 rubies, but I've never gotten it, always show up in green pipes. The gold pipes are, like, exclusively for high-end items in the token shop here, so did I exchange? There we go. 10,000 coins. That is really cool. Okay, so we've gotten two really good pulls, the high-end cap ticket and the 10,000 coins today. That's cool. Let's keep it going, y'all. <laughs> Baby Peach. All right. There you go. Normal driver. We'll move on from that pretty quickly here. But So my black dozer is level one. My regular dozer dasher is like level two. And my pink dozer, because <laughs> it's uh, uh, associated with Toadette, basically, in the Toad versus Toadette team rally last year when I um, think I triple cap builder Toadette and I already had explorer Toadette level six triple cap. I took the pink dozer and I triple capped it also so that it was at 700 base points so that it would match my Toadette drivers. Just for fun, because that when I have tours that I really like, there's some tours that, that I don't do anything and don't spend tickets, like I haven't spent tickets really on this tour. And there's some tickets that I, tours that I really go in for because I like uh, the theme or the items. And that was one of them here, normal cap ticket. There we go. That was the uh, Toad versus Toadette tour. So I decided to go all in on the pink dozer just for fun. So 13 pipes so far. This is going to be number 14. Is that right? Or did I miss? I'll go back and look at pause in a moment and see. Did I did I miss anything? If I did miss it, I'll put it in at the end. This is going to be number 14. I feel like this should be number 15. So I'll go back and see what I missed in a minute. Super cap ticket. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. And let's do number. This should be number 16. Yeah, because after this one, there should be 15 more. One, two, three, four, five, and then 10 at the high price. Ah, three point boost, three base point tickets. <laughs> okay, well, at least we've only gotten base point tickets a couple of times. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I put in the super cap ticket for the super driver cap ticket, I think, that I forgot. So now it shows correctly 16 pipes. Look in the statistics. We're doing really well on coins because we got that 10,000 coin pull. No rubies so far, but that could all change. I feel like the double dare host. That could all change because now all the values are worth double the amount. <laughs> okay, no, it is not worth double, but hopefully we'll just get some rubies. Um, and we are doing okay on high-end cap tickets, and we can probably expect another high-end ticket or two as we go through the rest of the pulls. So let's keep it going. 17. Boop. Can we have some more gold pipes? That would be cool. You like the red and gold saw paper umbrella I put up here along with uh, Daisy and Tuk Tuk. I'm, oh, <laughs> there, speaking of rubies, there's some rubies. They claim they closed that bug or fixed that bug where you close the app and you get locked out of your game. So hopefully that's true. Whew, I've been enjoying having Ty Daisy. Remember, I wasn't sure if I really wanted to pull for her, but I convinced myself while well, she's such a cool design, I shouldn't let the fact that she's coin box get in the way. Should just pull for her because coin box is useful anyway. You do want to always have coin boxers when you can, even if they seem to have a lot of overlap initially. So 
Here's number 19. Yeah, so I've, I've raced her a lot in multiplayer and also... I have not used her for high scores, but I've used her for, like, coin limit breaking. Ha! With, <laughs> I think this is a fake green pipe. This is the other reason of the gold pipes. You, you gotta count the fake green pipes, so maybe also the, um... Let's see, high-end driver. There we go. No, oh, wait. High-end level. That's what it is. It's driver level ticket. You also gotta count the uh, 10,000 coins and the 45 rubies if you're really counting how many super good pulls you got out of this so driver skill up that is cool i think that takes me to like nine i think when i get the one in the token shop i'll have 10 of those which is cool <laughs> i'm building back up my driver level tickets i like that high-end level ticket i think is the best i well okay the 45 rubies is pretty good Ten thousand coins is the value of a high-end carter glider level ticket so i think really the level ticket that's what you're getting the coins for anyway so level tickets are i think the best thing you can get out of here Driver skill tickets and uh, two super driver tickets. So that's cool, particularly because I am out or I have like one super driver ticket, maybe three now that I bought those two that were in the shop, simply because I used them on Rosalina when she was in ranked cup last tour. I, could, I couldn't take Daisy up at a level at all. I just ha I had no super driver ticket at the start of this tour. Here we go. There's a level up on a super cart the Turbo Yoshi. Nice. All right. So you can see an items on the right hand side of the statistics over here. We've gotten one normal item and one super item. So that's kind of cool. 10 left. We've done 21. We're going up to 31. And now it's 500 a pop. And you'll see my tokens is not a multiple of 500. You think, ah, oh, did I calculate wrong? But I didn't because we're going to do the gold pipes for 250 each at the end of this three base point tickets it's not even five all right that's fine you win some you lose some right at least we're on the board with rubies but it would be nice to get one more ruby pull so we can be up more at or above the expected ruby value for this pipe Ooh, we don't like to see that many point boost tickets we are ahead on point boost tickets <laughs> when you're ahead on point boost tickets you're behind <laughs> The pipe is beating you in that respect, but um, we're beating the pipe on high-end level tickets and super level tickets, which is cool. What the heck, dog? All right, hold on. Hold on. We're going to go back out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> go back. <laughs> See if we can reset the RNG a little bit. Go out and back in again. That was rough. Let's see what we got here. Like seven more. Okay, that's better than the point tickets. <laughs> Normal glider. Now six more. Boop -ba -ba Wild it be. Put on your happy face. Happy face. <laughs> I'm like, should I have reset this pipe for the fans? You can't reset this pipe. <laughs> what, what can you do? Okay, second, another super cart. That's cool. This one, I think, is more useful than the Turbo Yoshi, as evidenced by the fact that I have it at a higher level. I don't think it's very useful, but I think on, like, Tokyo Blur T, the Cloud 9 is still my top cart. <laughs> so, <laughs> when, on the, the Turbo Yoshi, I don't think is anywhere. All right! Where I needed these super driver tickets back a couple tours ago. If you remember, I bought one of those expensive ones from the tier shop. Not that it's that expensive, but this is cool. Replenishing my stash of super driver tickets. That's cool. For the next time I want to take, like, Daisy or Toadette or someone that's getting a cup boost um, up a level to use. Ah, oh, gosh. Gee. All right. Here, should we almost feel like should we go out and do the gold pipes first? Here, tell you what. Let's do one gold pipe and see if it helps with the RNG for the last three of that. So here's the first gold pipe, just to spice things up. I'm not gonna count this on the tracker. This is just a special. There's a list of things that I'd like to get out of the all clear pipe pool, but I didn't have time to put it together. I just kind of have it in my head, so we'll see if it's anything exciting. All right, that's kind of cool. Actually, I pulled that like so many times going for the Yukata Sisters. It was like my off week spotlight or non spotlight also, which is why I had it at two of five. So three of five, that's cool. I like that. All right, we're back on track. Let's do these last three and then we can hit those other gold pipes up. I'll do another gold pipe in the middle if I need more luck, but hopefully that'll give me some more luck here. 
Springtime Crane is really nice. I got that entire Peach Happy set at level 6, double capped, and I think Springtime Crane I've gotten the most since then out of pipes, so that puts that at three-fifths of the way. Hey, you never know. Maybe another Yukata pipe or uh, Tycho pipe will come around, and I'll end up getting it a couple more times. Maybe it'll go to level 7. I'm not putting any tickets on it, but it could. You never know. <laughs> right? Let's see. Six double capped is kind of like, jeez. All right, we do need, here. We do need some more luck. So before we do this last one, let's do one more of the token shot pipes. But six double capped is kind of like my top level, my Mac, my soft cap on driver's carts and gliders right now for high ends. I'm starting to take some of my supers to eight. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. I like, that's a cute cart. I got the Cact R at level 6 double capped. I pulled that in the Explorer pipe back in uh, Mushroom Gorge. What was that? The Me Tour? Um, okay, I'm, try, I'm looking on here to, if I should add that, but I shouldn't add that on the stats because that's just one of the gold pipes. But this is cool. I like that. Good looking cart. The Cact X. Like I said, I'll always take a new cart because who knows when it's going to get buffed on something that when you're you least expect it. Now that we got some luck, let's do this one again, just so we end with a gold pipe afterwards. And actually, we can end with an all clear pipe, too. And maybe, maybe the gold's again. There's, we could get a few gold pipes at the end here, if we really want to. Oh, gosh. Ad item tickets. Five. Didn't even get any ten item tickets. All I got were five item tickets. The only got that single pull of three rubies. That was a little bit rough. Uh, but at least I did get a high-end level ticket if you look in the stats, which is better than getting just high-end cap tickets. The level tickets are very important to my account. So, And that 10,000 coin pull was nice too. There's the statistics down there you can see for just this set of pipe pulls. And now I'm going to pull up the total, which I think we're over 200 now. Yep, 223 token shot pipe pulls since it was introduced to the game earlier this year. And you can see... We're about dead even on rubies, so the, the luck has caught up with me there. But you can see I've got more coins because I've gotten three 10,000 coin pulls, which is really nice. Uh, you can see we're still ahead on high-end items, high-end level tickets, and high-end cap tickets, despite what we got today. So that's cool. The only thing we're really behind on is uh, supers. A slightly, uh, well, okay, slightly I was going to say super cap tickets, uh, but mainly... The normal tickets, which who really needs them anymore, right? <laughs> we get. I am getting even with uh, taking forty tickets to raise a normal to the next level. I use them so infrequently that it actually I do find that I'm getting enough that I can raise a normal item like um, Baby Luigi when I in the case that I need to use them. Let's go in for this last token shop pipe with our last two hundred fifty tokens. I'll get tokens tomorrow because I have one day left to clear the rest of the token shop. And then, um, right now, this will take me down to zero tokens. Let's hope it's something good. Those first two have been pretty good. <sighs> Still want to get Charge and Chuck. That's the thing. <laughs> the B-Dasher, I think most people will be disappointed at. But you can see I've got that at six and three-fifths. And it's not just because of pulling it in the game. I spent a few tickets on it earlier in the game. And I do like the design of those B-Dashers. So that's an okay pull for me. I'm happy with that. That's cool. Um... Should we go in and do the all clear pipe? Why not? Might as well. Let's try it. So I think I've got one challenge left. Or obviously I have one challenge left because that's what I'm waiting on for the all clear pipe. Do jump boost. So let's see how we do. Uh, we'll do fine on jump boost, but let's see what we can get out of the all clear pipe. Let's see. So far I've gotten two carts and one glider out of those three gold pipes. So... Maybe we'll get a driver. Maybe not. There's a lot more carts and gliders. Uh, I'm going to have to look down at my phone now. Sorry about that. But a lot more carts and gliders you can get out of that standard pool than there are drivers. So anything's possible for this all clear pipe. What is this, like 50 cc? I guess that's good. So you have time to get around and make the jumps. Some of these bonus challenges that they run at 200 cc, it seems like, or... Like Baby Mario in the combo challenge, it seems really fast. I guess it's designed that way because they're trying to help you to keep combo by getting from one thing to another before the combo counter runs out. But it just seems like super fast for me <laughs> compared to the races that I usually do on that course. I don't know. Or compared to the other bonus challenges. This one seems super slow. Am I missing any jump boosts? I hope I'm not missing anything. <laughs> 
Okay, here, there's a lot at the end. I'm like, it doesn't seem like I have that many. There's a bunch at the end. I feel like this might be reused from one prior tour. Missed a coin, but that's okay. I'm going for jump boosts. 19. All right. It kind of feels like it should be, like 20 would be a nice round number, but <laughs> I've got enough to get all three stars. Maybe that was really all that there are. Some coins because I've gotten all the um, grand stars that I need for all the tour gifts. And <sighs> all clubs cleared. Congrats. <laughs> right? There we go. All clubs cleared. Congrats. Let's see who I use. I usually do this earlier in the tour. This is the end of the tour. Pink Ninja was in the warrior wagon for uh, that main new Bangkok Rush course. <laughs> I was running the Black Dozer to get the base points up. Had to use uh, the Toad pit crew for his um, boomboxing skills on one of the Rosalina's Ice World. You can see those are some of my ranked cup drivers that I've used. And Peach Happy! Most, somehow Peach Happy was my most used driver. I guess I was trying to run lucky. Does it count auto mode? If it counts auto mode, that makes sense. Because I used her an awful lot for that experiment I did in auto mode. Alright. Let's see what we get out of this. boop a doop a doo all right, that's cool. All right, Wild Wing, level up, level three. So not as exciting as the other pulls because it doesn't give me a lot of value on my account, but that's cool. That was the all clear pipe. Here, tell you what, I'll be back in a, in a minute Let me, after these challenges finish clearing, okay? All right, I'm back, you guys. Cleared those challenges. I'm just going to go into the gold zucchini pipe and see how many singles it takes to get the gold zucchini. Truthfully... Out of all those other carts, the Snow Skimmer is a big cart. I've used it on like Remix Choco 2R, but I think I have a, I think the Cactar is on that. And as I mentioned, I have that at a pretty high level now. I think the Gold Train like would give me a level up on one of the Super Nintendo, like Rainbow Road R or something like that, um, if I got to level six. Um, but I, it's not really that valuable. I think the Painster also would give me a, a level up there at level six, but it would, it's a lot bigger than the Gold Train, which is kind of a small cart. None of those carts are really that valuable. The, the Gold Gliders that they gave as Gold Pass gifts recently, like the, uh, Gold Wingtip and the Gold, um, what's it called? Tanuki Parafoil. Those things are horrible. Those are terrible. <laughs> The gold swooper I don't have. That would be, could be kind of neat to get it. The silver and gold harsh doesn't really help me much. The most valuable out of those gliders for me right now is the gold glider simply because I have it at level 6. And it is my can be, it is my top glider on a bunch of courses or would upgrade me if it ever, ever got to level 7 or 8. So, um, we're just going to do some singles and hope we can get the gold zucchini. Which I don't need now, but like I said... It's useful to have carts and so that when they get buffed, you're not stuck in the no top shelf like you see on all of the Frenzy Fans MVI Most Valuable Item surveys. Uh, if we can get the gold glider along the way or, or a gold train or something as a, just for another level up, that would be cool. But it's not necessary. Let's do it. I debated should I pull this pipe at all because the gold zucchini might not have that good value either since they're... Oh, it's a gold pipe! <laughs> Since the gold zucchini might not have that much value since they're basically giving it away like for free <laughs> But okay level up for the tanuki paraffin. I just figured just because of that. It's the FOMO it's, it's like if you don't get it now Who knows when you're gonna need it for your ranked cup, right? You're gonna have, have no top shelf on the new course, so We'll just get it. What the heck? Might as well Okay, that's cool. See, the gold train I have at level 4, and if it gets, I think even if it gets to level 5, it would technically be my highest right now on that Super Nintendo Rainbow Road course that I mentioned before. So, and it matches the theme of Rainbow Road a lot, because you see the, it, at least in the 3DS one or in the, in the SNES one when you have to do the glider challenge, you see the gold train going through, like, kind of like it does in Merry Mountain, so. Okay, gold pipe frame is not going to do much for me. Unless this is one out of a hundred, we're not really losing uh, rubies by doing the singles. And it, it, the nine tenths chance that it's not, or eight tenths of the time, we would be gaining. So hopefully this is a good. But you know, even if we're not, we're playing the odds. It's it's better to go in and do singles if all you want out of here is the gold zucchini. I got those two gliders that I said are like the most worthless gold pass gifts. 
I mean, maybe particularly because I pulled for the actual Tanuki Parafoil, so I, I didn't need the gold one. I mean, maybe they have some overlap or something, but I don't know. All those gold pass gliders that they give, um, they're not useful. What would be useful gold items in this pipe? The gold pumpkin cart is, is useful. Um, or the gold egg, which they recently renewed with Yoshi Gold Egg. Th the gold egg cart, that would be useful, but they're, they're not going to give you that in a guaranteed 10. There we go, gold zucchini. I think for gliders, I think the gold home field glider would be more useful than any of these. And I think also the, um, obviously the golden wings they have in a pack, because they know that that's about too valuable to put in this pipe. But there we go, you guys. I got it in six temples, 30 rubies, and we got the gold zucchini. Boop -a -doop. So ready to use that should the need arise. Thanks for joining me for the token shot pipe pulls with statistics. Appreciate you being here. Hope you have a good rest of the tour, which is one day. <laughs> and I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next tour. Bye now.